Hey everyone, Professor Hank here, and in today's lesson, we're going to talk about how you can work with multiple files open at the same time in C++. So you're not limited to just working with and processing one file at a time. You can open and process as many as you need to at once. So we're going to see that in an example where we're going to take the contents of two different text files and copy them to a third text file. And we'll do this all with one program. All right, so let's go ahead and see how that will look. So I've already created these two text files, one called num1.txt and another one called num2.txt. And so, like I said, we're gonna read from those and then we're gonna take their contents and copy them into a third file. So to do this, we're going to need to include the upstream header file. So that way we'll have access to the IF stream and OF stream objects. And what we'll do is we'll attempt to open three things, right? We're going to need two input files and one output file. So I'm going to need two IF stream variables. I'll name one fin1 and the other fin2. You can name these whatever the heck you want. I just like fin because it's kind of like file in apply on CN, console in. And then we're going to need one for write team. So we'll just call that variable fout. So we've got two IF stream and one OF stream. So we're going to attempt to open all three of them. So we'll do something like this. We'll say fin1.open. And the first one we'll open is going to be num1.txt. So we're going to pass as an argument num1.txt. And then this is attempting to open the first file. Then we're going to try to open the second file, which is num2.txt. This guy right here. And then we'll attempt to open the third file for writing. And so we're going to need to open, uh, or we're going to need to use the OF stream object. So fout.open. And we'll call this um, num3 for lack of a better name. So this is the attempt to open the third file. And so these first two are source files, right? This is a source, source one. And then this is source two. And then this is our destination file, right? So there's nothing stopping us from opening up all three at the same time. Now, um, I only want to process the files if they open. That's one thing I want to do. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I close the files only if they opened. And then another thing I want to do is I want to be able to send individual error messages based on whether or not uh, any of these failed to open. So what I'll do is, is I'll test the first file opening, verify the first file opened, right? And so if it did, then I'm going to process it, do some processing. Otherwise I'll print an error message, right? A specific error message. I'll say, um, no see out error failed to open num1.txt. So if this file doesn't open, then it's pointless to continue on. So this will evaluate to false and then we'll just go ahead and print out our error message and we're done. And we'll just print out like a, you know, goodbye, something like goodbye. All right. There's no point in trying to, you know, process the second file or try to read anything if we failed to open the first file. Right. So then what we'll do is we'll test the second file to see if it opened, verify the second file opened, and then we'll do a similar kind of thing. Okay. So we'll process. We'll continue with the processing if it opened. Otherwise, we'll print out an error message letting you know that that one failed to open. See out error fails to open num1.txt. And um, if fin1 doesn't fail to open, then we've got to make sure that we close that file when we're done. So we'll put that there. And similarly with fin2, right? You process the file, then you close it. So we'll do fin2.close, right? So we've tested both of our first two files. Now, if we get past this and we get past this, that means that both of our input files were successfully opened. So now let's verify that uh, our output file opened. All right. So verify the output file opened. And if it didn't open, then we'll print out an error message here too. Right. So we'll say, see out error fails to open num3.txt. All right. But if it succeeds in opening, then we're going to process and close. So we'll do fout.close. Now, 
if the first file opened for reading and the second file opened for reading and the third file opened for writing, then we're good to go. All three files are open. There's no errors. Now let's go ahead and do our copying. So what we'll do is we'll copy the first file, which was num1.txt, remember? So what we'll do is we'll say um, while, and we'll do our read from fin1 into a temporary holding variable. So let's create that variable, index. It's our buffer variable. So if this read was successful, then X is going to contain the first number in that num1.txt file. So then we'll write it to our output file, to our num2.txt um, file. And then we'll put each number on their own separate line. So write it, right? read it, and then write it. Now, once this loop finishes, you know, once we get to the end of num1.txt, then this test expression is going to evaluate to false. The while loop's done, and that will complete the reading of all the numbers from the first file. So now let's copy the second file. Copy the second file. All right, so that's num2.txt. So we're just going to have a similar kind of loop. But this time, we're going to read from the second file, from num2.txt. So we're using the ifstream object associated with num2.txt. And let's just review really quick and see what everybody is associated with. So fin1 is for num1.txt. Fin2 is for num2.txt, and then num3 is for val. Okay, so we'll continue on our way. And then once that second loop is finished, then we're done. All right, so let us not forget to put our else down here. So let's go ahead and test it now. So now let's go open up num3. All right, so then you can see that our new file was created. So let's trace through our code and see what happened. So we created all of the variables that we needed here, two I of stream and one O of stream. We attempted to open all three of them, and then we tested to make sure that the first file opened, num1.txt. If it did, then we start the body of this if statement, in which case we check to see if the second file opened, num2.txt. If it did, then we check to see if the third file opened, in which case it would be num3.txt. And then from there, what we do is we read all of the numbers from the first file, num1.txt, into x one at a time. And then we write each number one at a time to our output file, num3.txt. Once that's done, then we move on to the second file and we read each of the numbers from the second file one at a time into X and then write them one at a time from X into our num3 file. And then once we're done with that, we close our output file num3.txt. The else got skipped because there was no error. And then we close the second file, which was num2.txt. And since there was no error, we skip this else and then we close the first file, which was num1.txt, and since there was no error, this gets skipped, and we print out goodbye. Now, that is a lot of stuff happening. Let's get the error checking code out of the way to make it a little bit easier to see. And then here's a quick view of all the code for you in one screen.